As the world observes International Day of Persons with Disability under the theme Building Back Better towards a disability inclusive, accessible and sustainable post-COVID-19 world, the Youth Bridge Foundation under its Access to Justice initiative joins the international community to call for the promotion of the full inclusion of persons with disability in a compelling drama called Puzzled. Jay. What is it again? I just wanted to tell you that... I don't want to hear it. But it's about our daughter, Efwa. It's always about Efwa. Well, whether you want to hear it or not, she needs a new There problem. is no money for that. But you know without it, she cannot see anything. There is no money for it. What do you want me to do? Tell me. Your daughter has finished all the money we have, all in the name of being blind. My daughter. Your daughter. My daughter. I am tired. I really am. But she's your daughter too. I mean, for crying, why are you acting as if you're the only one going through this? I mean, come on, look at me. I'm only 26 years old, and my mates are living their lives to the fullest. For crying out loud, I don't even remember the last time I had a makeover. I don't even know what a manicure or a pedicure or even a massage feels like anymore. So don't you just sit there and tell me that you don't have any money and say that she's my daughter, like she's not a burden to me. For crying out loud, I did not make, make her blind. I didn't make her blind. I didn't. What is wrong with you? I want a divorce. What? I want a divorce. So what are you going to do about it for? We want a divorce because you can't afford to take care of Ifwa and I. Well, I can't afford to take care of her either. So what's going to happen to her then? Ah, uh, Coco. Coco Kofi. Yeah. What does she do? I think she's an advocate whatsoever for kids. Coco Coffee, yeah, I'm sure. It's Coco Coffee. I think I really, we need to look for her. Coco Coffee. Maybe she could help us. How may I help you? We want a divorce. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not a divorce lawyer. Neither am I a marriage counselor, so how may I help um, you? This is our daughter, Ethel. Are you in the middle of a custody battle? I mean, even if you are, it's still not what we do here. There's no battle for custody here. We both do not want him. Um, to IC, please, take the girl out and get her something to um, eat or drink. Okay. Can you repeat what you just said? It's not a big deal. We want to get a divorce. We can't work. And I don't want to be with this burden. Besides, my wife feels the same way too. I know it seems like we're wicked people, but you wouldn't understand. Taking care of her is so hard. And we're beginning to lose our hopes. At least I am. We don't mean to be wicked, and she's just a little girl, and that's why we're here. I don't know if you could help her find a family. Why? Her blindness is causing too much, and we don't have too much money. See, we're young, we can still have full lives. There is no need for this stress, and having a foie makes everything a lot worse. You work hard, my brother. You work harder. Do you know the number of people who want what you have? You just don't have any idea. Coco, can you even do this? I mean... Technically, yes, they can. Well, then I'll take her. Parents offering their child for adoption because of her disability. This calls for systemic and attitudinal change. We therefore call on government to strengthen the implementation of laws that protect the rights of persons with disabilities. 
Also, parents and the society at large should accept and live positively with them because disability is not a lifestyle choice.